Hey, what's up, y'all? It's poppin' it. Today, about to react to this vid by Sunny V2. It's titled, Awful TikTok Family is Making Millions by Lying About Hype. Millions? And the thumbnail says 7'9", seven, 7'10". Seven Millions? This is why you can't believe nothing. Don't believe nothing. But making millions is crazy. I, I gotta get the details. Let's watch. This is the I probably lie too. family of TikTok star Marie Tamara. Their heights are seven foot five, seven foot nine, six foot. No, three, because six. you're gonna easily get exposed. <laughs> Niggas gonna see you at the grocery store and be like, bitch, you is not no seven foot, you five three, you know? And then that's gonna, you know, tarnish your whole reputation. Shit's gonna tank. So yeah, it's it's not worth it actually. But for them to make millions, that means they was doing this right for a long time. Ten and seven what foot flat. Caught. Only these numbers are a complete and utter lie. None of them are actually this tall, and everybody has begun to notice it. Let me show you how. Marie began on social media by detailing her life as a very tall woman. She posted videos such as this one talking about the struggles of finding dresses which fit, before concluding with a self-confident message showing that she was comfortable <laughs> in her own skin. In other videos, way. Marie joked about dancing with the short king because he's the only one at the club not intimidated by her height. So exactly how tall was she? Well, considering she could hold her feet above doorways and refrigerators, it seems she was close to seven feet. However, she'd reveal in a different video that she was actually six foot one. Marie then restated that she was six foot one in a different TikTok video. However, only one day after claiming this, she'd post a new video in which it appeared she'd grown another inch. Girl. Wait, you're six foot two now, did you grow? Yet the likelihood that she'd had some unexpected overnight growth spurt was low given she was already 27 at the time of posting the video. What seemed more likely was that Marie's height was being embellished to make her situation seem more interesting, with the sudden change instantly reducing how much the audience trusted her. What is your actual height? Each of your TikToks seemed to say something different. Yet Marie stood strong with her previous claim in an article reading, I'm six foot two and dating is almost impossible. I'm tired of being called a man. Some clarity was then provided when Marie introduced her even taller six foot five mother to the videos. Although what Marie failed to disclose was that her mother is a little more famous than the audience might have realized. In a previous video, it had been mentioned that the mum was a former professional basketball player Period. and therefore by Googling her name, Christine Tamara, it's not difficult to find a bunch right. of public information. There's an article from April 2016 explaining that she played university basketball in 1981, which exposed another lie that the mother was a WNBA player, considering the WNBA wasn't even founded until oh. 15 years later in 1996. Although impossibly the first truth told on Mari Tamara's channel, the article confirmed that the mother was in fact six foot five, yet it'd be pretty dumb to lie about this considering it's public record. What Marie failed to realize is that there are also public sporting records confirming her height, but we'll get to that later. Mm. With the videos between Marie and her mother going viral, the rest of the family was then introduced as the tallest family on TikTok, where Marie established her brother Shane at six foot nine, her second brother Troy at six foot ten, and her father Mike at six foot three. Well, that's assuming they were all telling the truth. The video of the family exploded, gaining over four million views, incentivizing them to continue making content. They do a bunch of unique videos videos like showing their shoe sizes and talking about their weight at birth, yet it was their how tall are the kids and the things we make look small videos which performed the best gaining over 20 million views each. The family then made a dedicated Instagram called Team Tamara before Marie, Shane and even the mother began doing paid content, with Marie stating in a WFAN interview that she made more than six figures in her very first month. This was then followed by a New York Post article two months later reading, Tamara says she now rakes in an average of 100 $189,000 per month. Sheesh, I'm out of y'all niggas too. I'm eight for two. <laughs> This gave the family a very strong incentive to not only keep going, but to perhaps embellish their height even further. Although since they'd already posted multiple videos, each claiming that Marie was the shortest at six foot two and Troy was the tallest at six foot ten, it felt as though the truth had finally been established. Until all of a sudden, Marie had grown another inch and was now six foot three. Dude, I swear I can't with this stuff. At first, you're six foot. All right, she she fucked it up by doing this stupid shit. You should have just kept your original height, girl. Two and now you're six three. Come on now, weren't you six two a couple of weeks ago? Can we get a six foot three measurement to prove? Although the family was offering no such video, instead Marie continued to claim that she was now six foot three, with the trend so far already hinting at what was about to happen. Instead, Marie skipped seven whole inches to make the claim that she was now six foot ten. At which point, the audience simply didn't know what was true. 
Six two or six three or six ten? What? Six ten, six three? What's the real height? OMG, bro! You change your height in every video. First six three, then six two, now six ten. Yeah, the backlash maybe against something. her lies seemed to have no Better impact word. on her follow account, and if anything, continuing to lie only boosted the family's presence further. Three months after claiming that she'd magically gone from six two to six ten, Marie and the family had their best month ever, gaining over four hundred thousand TikTok followers, and it was only after her unexplained six foot ten growth spurt that Marie began to see any growth over on YouTube. On top of this, Marie would post a TikTok stating that the family was now making $800,000 per month, leading her to buy a $245,000 Aston Martin, although she'd then state that she was apparently too big to fit inside it, which was a shame given she and the family, as unbelievable as it might sound, were about to get even taller. On <laughs> the 14th of April 2023, Marie Tamara uploaded a TikTok now claiming to be seven feet tall. <coughs> Bro, she started at 6'1", now she's 7 feet, bro. I thought he was exaggerating in the thumbnail, but... But in order to make it believable, she she'd she... also need to scale up everybody else in the family. So her brother Troy became 7'7", seven seven, her other brother Shane became 7'5", while the mother became 7'2". The only person whose height hadn't changed was the dad, who stayed put at 6'3", yet this was only a plot to get more views, but we'll explain that in just a second. In the meantime, Marie gained over 50 million views on one single TikTok stating, I'm not that tall when I'm with my mom," in which the mother's height had been embellished yet again from 7 foot 2 to 7 foot 5. In the next video, the mother had grown another inch to 7 foot 6, yet at this point someone in the comments pointed out a fatal flaw in the family story. Nah, no, that's crazy before. because the Guinness World Record holder for the tallest woman is 215 centimeters, and it's a very good point. At a height of 229 centimeters or 7 foot 6, Marie Tamara's mum would be the second tallest woman currently alive, the second tallest woman in American history, and the 11th tallest woman ever recorded yet she's nowhere to be seen on Wikipedia's list of tallest people. On top of this, if Marie Tamara herself was really 7 foot, she should also be on this list right next to 7 foot Uljana Semjanova, although again she's suspiciously nowhere to be seen. When called out for the lie in a comment reading, Bro, you are not 7 foot, you are 6 I foot 2, Marie it. responded by pulling out a tape measure to some arbitrary length before holding it up against her shoulder and claiming that it was 6 foot too long. She then doubled down in the comment section by stating, If I was 6 foot would I be able to grab the fan so easily? Yet she'd then get destroyed in the replies by someone who simply wrote, I'm 6 foot and had no problem doing it. The only evidence Marie had to prove that she was actually 7 foot was that she stood about a head taller than her dad, However, even this was a lie, as Marie had simply gotten sneakier with her camera angles. In videos such as this one, the where the brothers had grown yet again to 7 foot 9 and 7 foot 10, the dad is standing at the back while the bottom of the frame is cut off at the feet, mm. where it's obvious Marie is wearing heels and is possibly even standing on something. Mm. When your ankles are mid-calf on the person next to you, hmm. The only time Marie showed herself standing on flat ground was in the videos where her father isn't present, although as highlighted by this comment reading, she's standing in front of the door and the camera is low. It's an illusion to make them taller. There are even more tricks at play here. For example, in this video, Marie claimed that she couldn't fit inside a shower, yet her ankles are almost as high as the on-off tower. In this video, it's obvious that she's simply standing on the edge of the bath, and she's not the only person in the family using this trick. Over on Shane's personal Instagram, his 7 foot 5 inch height places him head and shoulders above a door frame, yet the camera cuts off well above his knees, and this isn't even the worst part. <laughs> this is in so post, stupid. Shane has his basketball stats listed, in which it confirms that he's 2 meters and 6 centimeters centimeters or six foot nine he's inches and he's not the only person in the family to have their sporting records online. Troy, apparently the tallest in the family, seems as though he's just going with the flow of the family's antics. However, that's not to say his displayed height is accurate. In a George Mason University basketball profile, Troy's height is listed not as seven foot ten, but rather as six foot eight, that's while other basketball part. websites list his height at six foot nine, meaning that he's not only the same height as the other brother, but he's at least one foot one inch shorter than what's being shown on TikTok. Meanwhile, Shane's apparent height of 7 foot 9 is a foot taller than his actual height, while the mother's TikTok height of 7 foot 5 is she also a foot, foot taller than her actual height. But what about Marie, the mastermind of the whole operation?
politician whose social media presence is so untruthful. She even lies about what kind of men she's into just to make more money, stating that she's attracted to five foot nine short kings while simultaneously claiming that <laughs> dating my height <laughs> is almost impossible as it is extremely difficult to find a guy taller than me. Well, according to an old cross country running profile, she's not seven foot, not six foot ten, not six foot three, or even six foot two. She's rather six feet and one inch tall, as was stated in her first few videos. The only person whose height hasn't been lied about at any point is the dad's okay. at six foot three. Yet again, this was only done to make the others seem taller. But I guess posting a real family photo like this one, without manipulated camera angles, just wouldn't receive the same kind of exposure. Despite this, the family continue to claim that they're a group of seven foot tall giants, earning millions of views and dollars by doing so, while irritating the entire world in the process. Even this video is stupid because she says she's seven foot next to him, but she got on heels. When it's clear, she's not even that much taller than him in heels. But you got on heels at that. This is just dumb. No, but her change, her changing her height with every video is, is joke. She started off at, at 6'1", and it just kept going up. That's actually pretty hilarious. But I'm sure people are annoyed. They're irritated because they're like, you're trying to deceive us. But she could spin it and just be like, oh, we're just trolling. Because that's always a cop, all right? That seemed to work with y'all. When, when niggas is trolling, it's like, okay, it's fine now. So she could just do that. I would do that, too. If, if they make it nearly as much money as they claim, they're liars. So they could be lying about all this. But <laughs> I'm sure... They make it some good money for them to go through these ridiculous lengths. So if they're making anything even close to that, then it, it makes sense why she would get online and lie. I, I get it, girl. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!